Uh, I don't want to go super deep on this first part, what is the defense in itself, and it's escaping to the back or escaping to the mount. You know, we're going to fairly see it, and we're not going to be able to, to accomplish that. And then through the half guard, I will do a couple strips. Okay? So, we're going to be at the mount, back, on the head of the <laughs> okay, side control. Okay, first of all, I don't hug my opponent in any circumstances. Okay, and not even with one hand, not even stay here, not even, you know, put my arm around here. Okay, what I'm doing, you can put it here, is I put my elbow on the floor and I keep holding his shoulder here. Okay. That's the worst case scenario. If I have the opening, I will come with my thumb inside and I hold inside his lapel. Okay? And then, with this hand here, I will grab his far leg. Okay? If his zip is closed and I cannot put my hand inside, I make a little bridge and I find a, a, little, a little bit of space. Okay? I can start to create space and what they're going to do, they're going to start to escape my hip under him. Okay? My hand comes here and I grab his pants, okay? Make sure you don't grab it. You see the way I grab him? My hand is above his leg, so if I wanna push his leg away, I really can't. So I wanna grab before, no, let me go ahead, before his leg. So when I stretch, I actually block in his leg. Not on the gi and push away, where I'm not covering his, his leg at all, okay? So, I hold here, if I, if I make this grip here, I rotate and I keep touching my hand on the ground, I go out of the ground, and I keep pushing him inside. So, that's, everybody got that? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my elbow and I'm going to start to be parallel to him. I'm going to move my hip inside. Perpendicular is good for the person on top to keep his control. You want to be perpendicular to me. Okay, you want to be, especially like this one, sure, make it very clear. You want to be like that, okay? He has a good control, you cannot skip to his back. I want to be like that. Parallel. Okay, this makes my life much easier. So, I'm here, I can grab his leg. What they're going to do is they're going to start to bring him over and escape my hip under. Okay, so my hip goes lower, I will have more mobility. Even if he has a lot of pressure on my face with his shoulder, my hip is still can move. Okay, so I keep pushing his leg aside and I twist my hip. Okay, even if this shoulder is touching the floor, my hip turns inside. I step over and I start to pull him. He's like that, okay? And I start to come in here, okay? Get him on the half back. My hand in between his leg, now I wanna, before, it was very common people do this. Problem here is he goes to the reverse arm bar and then attack me here and then I don't wanna expose my arm for nothing like that, okay? So, my hand is here, I wanna lift, because the blade of my arm is on his throat. And this makes it hard for him. He cannot put pressure because he's not choking himself. Not choking off to death, but very annoying. So he normally falls down. When he does that, he push, he put pressure down and he goes up and he go down. You know, he does, he keep going back and forth. Okay? At this point, this knee comes up, this hand comes up. And this hand here is going to push him over here. My hip is going to stay all the way between his leg. Okay? So I'm going to do this. Okay? If I go deep enough, I will switch my hand here. And I can sweep him right away. If he pulls his hands on the floor, I have a, a half first. So he's on the side control, okay? Always your elbow close to the floor, okay? My arm's still blocked, 
you can be defending with your leg here if that's what will make you comfortable. I have to put my hand in between his legs. Okay, so what I do, I can bridge a little bit and come with my arm. Contro his pants inside his leg, very important. Okay? So, if I cannot get my arm there yet, no big deal. Okay? I start to escape my hip and blocking his leg and I come. Now, even if he's tight here with his shoulder, I have enough space to hold him here. So, put him on the half guard, my hand comes to the other side. Start to lift and bring my knee up. This arm here, very important, I keep pulling and my knee keep going up and I just want to stop here because I'm going to push the floor. I'm going to push the floor, put the weight. I just want to stop here with my shoulder under his leg, okay? This is not good. I will carry too much weight here. He's going to start to sprawling his leg and to keep my position here is a nightmare. I keep lifting this leg and this leg coming up, putting him off balance, okay? And forcing my shoulder inside. So I get, I get this position up, okay? So that's what I want. When you, when you have this, uh, what I could call almost deep half turn, okay? Your shoulder have to pass in between his legs. Okay? So then you can hold the lapel. At this point, because this knee is on the floor, this knee is up. And I think I think we should just do this part here and then I get the sweep right after right after. Okay? You guys need to see it again or you guys can get this bit one more time. I got a question. <laughs> And when you create the space to go for, for the leg, if he goes uh, north south, you can't. You can't. Because I'm controlling his leg, okay? In, in the moment when you reach, try to reach, I, I talk about. I Normally, I can, I, can, I can put my hand on his leg. First, before you know, he moves. So when my hand is coming in, in, in between, when he's moving to the north south, it's normally a lot of space where I can control his leg. And then if he tries, you know, let's say I'm here, and then you try more to the north guard. So I will do this. And if I'm here, so I, I will have the half guard much easier actually than if he's, he tried to just stay tight on me. Okay? Because he's gonna create the space. Can happen, then the guy get there. Normally it don't happen with me. I've been doing this for a quite a while. You know, it's possible, but it's a big motion he has to do, and I'm gonna open too much space for my hand. Okay, so, so I, I can expect him to move and, and just wait to grab his leg. No, no, you can't. That, because I, I, I gotta go for You him. have to, you cannot expect him to move. You have to force him to move. You have to give him, give him something what uh, he will try to move to take it. I cannot be here and say, okay, I'm gonna wait until he try to mount. He will not mount. I could do that. And then I know I'm giving him something. I'm giving him something what he will 90% of the time try to mount. But I cannot be here and say, okay, if you try to mount, then I'm going to escape. It will not work. Okay? So, you come here, get the hand inside. Okay, best case scenario, you are here. I like to put my tongue inside, blade off my arm. Okay, and then one thing important, 